And let's see, that's a hair. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. As promised, last week I talked about some new foundations that I had recently picked up and uh, I wanted to do one today. And this is the Estee Lauder. So I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer uh, Long Wear Makeup. And I got the color 1N2. And this is not exactly a first impression. This is a second impression. And the first time that I put it on, I didn't really wear it for that long. I was mostly just checking the color and stuff. Um, the original Double Wear from Estee Lauder is like a, a cult favorite. I like it too. It's just a little bit too much for my more mature skin. But I've got my skin prepped. I've got, obviously I've got my eyes done and stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and put some of this on for you guys today. So this should be a nice short, sweet uh, video. And I'm going to use a foundation brush and then I'm going to go over it with a sponge. So we're just going to jump right in because I don't have a lot of time. I have a, an appointment and this is thinner, obviously, than the uh, original Double Wear. And it is supposed to be sheer, but I felt like when I put it on that it was sheer to medium. And I don't know, I'm going to try to build it up just a little bit today just to, just to see if I can and see what it what it looks like. I like a sheer foundation as long as it, you know, does enough of what I want it to. <laughs> so I'm using a brush first because, well, that's usually how I do my, my base. Usually you get better coverage out of something if you use a brush instead of a sponge or in addition to a sponge. I've bought this color in some of the other foundations like the Hydra Futurist Rescue, whatever the one with the really long name, uh, which I really like that that particular foundation. And actually, I like most of Estee Lauder's foundations, except for the, oh, uh, let's see, what was it called? Or what is it called? It's like the, the water-based double wear or something like that, I think. Anyway, if I can remember, I will uh, pull up a picture and insert it here so that you know which one I'm talking about. And I remembered to turn on my ring light today, so hopefully this isn't too much. But I wanted you to see as much as, as possible uh, as far as this foundation goes. Now I do have my skin prepped with uh, like an essence and the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream and uh, some sunscreen. Even though it's raining cats and dogs out there and I don't think we're supposed to see the sun today. But, you know, sunlight still makes it through. So that was, well, you saw how much I pumped out of that. That was about two pumps, I think. So this is a nice, yeah, I would say sheer. I mean, I can still see like all of my little freckles and, and my little healing boo-boo there and, and stuff. But it has a nice, so far, nice kind of, not glowy, but it's not super matte. So I'm going to put a little bit more out. Uh, basically the same amount. Pick that up with my brush and we're going to see if we can build it up in a few strategic areas here and see if we can get a little bit more, a little bit more coverage. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it there as far as the amount. Now if I swipe my brush I can definitely see like brush marks. So I don't usually do that. I usually stipple and then I will go over it with my sponge here in a sec and kind of press that in and lift up any excess because I don't like it when there's too much stuff around my mouth because it tends to look kind of heavy. All right, so I've got a sponge here not super damp because I washed it yesterday, but it's a little bit damp. And I'm just going to press that in to my face, especially in the center here. 
and then lightly around the perimeter. Looking in the monitor, I see more things peeking through than I do just looking in my mirror that's right here in front of me. I mean, it seems nice. I'm, I'm reserving judgment until I wear it for the rest of the day. I will try to, you know, put in a, like a check-in of some sort, maybe this afternoon when I get back from my errands. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my face and I will come back and you can see the finished look and at that point I can probably give you a couple more thoughts but really uh, you know the, what I see right now is fine it's nice and light and uh, yeah we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day all right guys I'm back I've got the rest of my makeup on my battery is about to die and so I'm just gonna cut it short here but I do like this um, it was a little luminous and so I don't know if that's because I didn't wait that long to let it dry down or if it's you know just the way the product is supposed to be so I did go ahead and powder and um, I used the new well new to me anyway professional super setter spray which I almost always use a spray so I'm not that worried about it affecting my feelings you know about this product one way or the other but so far I like it it's a nice sheer sheer to medium coverage it went on real nice uh, I was able to build it just a little bit and I think I'm gonna leave it there for now and I will check in and let you know some final thoughts about this later on today because like I say I'm going out have appointments gonna do some errands that kind of stuff so I will check in with you in a bit Hi guys, I'm just uh, doing a little check-in. I, I did change my shirt because <laughs> I was kind of cold in my other shirt. I wanted to pop in here and just say real quick that this foundation is so-so. Uh, I am seeing some like dryness for lack of a better word or almost like powderiness um, in, in this area which is not all that unusual for me to see like dryness and stuff right in here it's gathered a little bit in my nose fold right there I don't know I mean it's it's not bad it's not bad I definitely feel like I can see more of like my little spots poking through and like on my nose and that and I did I did go out I did wear a mask for a substantial amount of time while I was out uh, it didn't really settle in any like creases in my forehead or anything like that. I did set it with powder if you remember. Uh, I don't love the way it looks right here. Now that might just be a matter of not powdering as much or maybe putting a little bit more um, care into the amount of moisturizer I put on beforehand. So I don't hate this. I can I will continue to wear it. Is it my favorite foundation ever on the face of the planet? No. But I don't necessarily think that it's like a waste or anything like that, especially if you have pretty good skin and you don't need to cover up a lot of a lot of stuff. And my skin's it's OK. It's it's mediocre. I definitely have freckles and sunspots and and things like the, the occasional blemish that I like to cover up. Let's see. I'm going to give this maybe seven out of ten stars if you want to rate things that way. It doesn't really feel particularly dry or anything like that it's just that I feel like it, it looks it looks a little bit dry it looks a little bit powdery um, which is not my favorite I, I tend to like especially as the day goes on I like my foundation to look a little bit more dewy um, I don't like it to look greasy or anything like that because that just shows texture and pores and, and things and and I'm not really in, into that, but I think that in general, I think it's a nice foundation. I don't think that, um, you know, you would necessarily be sorry if you purchase this. I mean, I can't really tell you personally, the person that's watching this, yes, you should absolutely go out and buy this. What I can tell you is that I have normal skin. I've got the typical sort of stuff that somebody who's 52 has so I have some lines and some age spots and and things like that to to try to conceal a little bit like I've mentioned before in videos there's a limit to how much I want to fuss when it comes to finding the perfect thing that 
that'll make a foundation work for me as far as like a, a primer or a moisturizer or anything like that. So the bottom line is seven out of 10 stars, um, a little bit drying, a little bit powdery looking or a little bit dry looking um, in certain places on, on my skin. No real settling except for like around around my nose. It is not transfer resistant. I do want to say that because I did have makeup uh, on my mask when I took it off. I find that very few things don't come off on a mask, especially if you wear it for a while and especially if you tend to like sweat underneath your mask, which I tend to do. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick little check-in, kind of a final assessment on this uh second try uh, of the Estee Lauder Sheer Double Wear Foundation. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm happy to be back in the saddle, so to speak, and I'm going to try to stick with a once a week uh, upload if I can. And uh, I think that will that will suit me. But uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it while you were watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you. I appreciate it. Leave me a comment. I do love to read comments. And until my next video, bye guys.